Hi everyone, so today I'm actually filming on my phone, so fingers crossed that this footage is fine because my microphone's broken. It's really annoying, so I'm going to try and film on my phone. I have no idea, like I said, I have no idea how this is going to turn out because I've never done that before. But let's just get into it. I wanted to film a video. I haven't done a haul in a very long time. I haven't really bought much makeup stuff lately, to be honest. And I guess I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I bought around Black Friday as well as maybe before and after things that I haven't really shown on my channel yet so hopefully you guys enjoy this little haul there's gonna be some makeup stuff some skincare stuff some random stuff some clothing let's start with the most potentially interesting stuff which is makeup so you might have seen my Trini London video recently it's done really well surprisingly I don't know a lot of you have been saying that you have been getting advertising like targeted advertising from Trini London so maybe that's why and I decided to give her another shot despite my not so great experience with a lot of the products I've tried I did decide to pick up the italics range which is a new range that she brought out which sounded a lot more up my alley and these are more your metallic type of creamy eyeshadows they come in the usual stacks which again I'm not the biggest fan of but some of you have said that you like it because it's kind of easy you just use your fingers so as you may or may not be able to see, these ones are a lot more kind of fine. I'll put an overlay, hopefully, of me trying them, using them. And you can see they're way more metallic and glittery than her other ones, which are not that high shine metallic that I thought they were going to be. So I actually think that this is definitely more what I was expecting when I purchased from Trini Long the first time around. And I have to say, out of the four shades I've got, the two that I really like are Fortuna and Hecate, which um, one is more of a pewter and one is more of a like coppery uh, shade. The glitter, I tell you, is so hard to get off. Any eyeshadow um, that has these kind of fine glittery particles, you know, you find that you are still wearing glitter on your face days after so yeah four shades i'm not a big fan of the green shade which is juno just because i feel like the the dark base i'm not a huge fan of that blackened base i wish that that black base wasn't there i much prefer like a true straight up green i just find that it can get really dark and heavy and smoky too quick like i said i actually do quite like the formula of these it does you know have a gorgeous shiny impact and I think this is really fun for the festive season. So I think that this was a smart release for Trini around this time. Now, I also decided to pick up her tinted moisturizer. This is a new release as well. This is called the BFF Serum De-Stress. And this is what I'm using on my face today. I really like this. I, I think that it works really, really well on the skin just to give a bit of a light coverage. It's not too heavy. As you can see, you know, I've got like spots that haven't been covered and I'm just, I'm fine with it. I feel like it's something I can throw in my bag if I want to touch up just my fingers and it's really quick I don't need to brush but this is really easy to blend into the skin and I really enjoy it it has a sweet smell but I don't know I it's not offensive to me and the packaging is is fine I like the a pump packaging a lot more than like I would a jar I think it did actually come with a spare jar in case you wanted to put it in a jar but that's completely fine with a pump so I actually have really been enjoying this and I think the the match because it is a tinted moisturizer even though this looks a bit darker on my skin than maybe what I would normally go for. I think it works because it, it like I said, it's kind of light coverage, it kind of blends in with everything um, and it looks, I think it looks good. Another thing I wanted to mention was a couple of stuff that I received from Ana Luisa. They've been kind enough to send me some more stuff. They asked me to pick out four pieces in exchange for me talking about them. So I picked out this ring because Mary made me do it. She also got this ring too and it looks stunning. And the fact that it is adjustable is great because I hate having to measure my... I, I feel like rings, buying rings online is really precarious. I don't really like it because I worry that I'll get the wrong size. Uh, Anna Louise does have a size guide, which I think is quite helpful if you want to get your size. But I'm, I'm too lazy for that. I'm still too lazy for that. And I, I'm still a little bit worried that I'm going to get the wrong size. So I decided to get these adjustable rings, which I think is a great option uh, for people like me like Mariam that 
like the idea of a ring but don't care about sizing. So I'm really glad that Anna and Louisa do do adjustable rings. I got this in another color as well. This color, a teal, a turquoise, I would say, actually. Uh, let's put this on the other finger. This is a matte kind of finish. Even though it is adjustable, it's still pretty, like, solid. Like, it doesn't just move very easily. Then I got two bracelets because if you haven't realized, I don't know, I just, I've been wearing a lot of bracelets recently. And I really like this one. This is... A collaboration with Michelle. It's this bracelet with a cross at the end. I just think it's a nice detail that you don't usually see on bracelets. And then the other bracelet I got was this gold one which is similar except it doesn't have the cross and it is more of a yellow gold. So you know if you're someone that prefers gold you have that option. So those are the pieces I got from Annalisa. Like I said, I'll put all the links to them in the description below. So um, the Charlotte Tilbury did do a Black Friday sale and she gave like this luxury palette of pops with every order. I haven't opened this because I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it or give it. Um, I actually do like the Charlotte Tilbury, some of the shimmers that she has in her quads. I'll show you what it looks like. I've only just looked at it, but they do look really nice. Although they look a little bit pink for what I would normally go for. But you've got, you know, one kind of light beigey pink, one rose gold, one deeper rose wood kind of colour, and then a metallic brown. So the shades in here do look quite nice. I'm not, like, I've, I've got heaps of eyeshadow, so do I need to keep this or I, could I give this away? I do find that her quads I much prefer than the, like, the larger palettes. I haven't had much luck with those ones over the quads, so... We'll see. But I mainly placed a Charlotte Tilbury order because I wanted to get this. And this is the Magic Cream Duo. So it comes with a, the, the, the original Magic Cream as well as the Magic Serum, which I've never tried. And I actually do like the Magic Cream. I have used it before. I've used up one before and I do like it. And I use it kind of as a primer. I do have dry skin. And, you know, even... The thing is, even when I look like I don't have dry skin and then I start putting makeup on, sometimes I can see dry patches and that's how I know that my skin has not really gotten the hydration it needs and so I've kind of realized even though we're out of the cool months my skin really does need uh, a lot of TLC especially as I'm, I haven't got like 20 year old skin anymore I, I decided to pick this one up because I knew that I was going to like it and the magic serum I'm going to give this a try I've never tried it before but I'm excited about it that's really the only kind of things I picked up during Black Friday sales some of the stuff I got during sales were things that I knew that I wanted to buy like had been looking at for a while I definitely tried to make very conscious decisions this year um, regarding sales and I didn't want to go overboard. Okay, let's move on to some some other skincare stuff. I don't typically talk about skincare on my channel. First things first, this silicon free priming moisturizer. This is from Good Molecules. I did get some stuff in PR and I picked this one up because I really like this priming moisturizer. I've used it in the past and I just think it's a nice uh, base for under makeup. It's what I've been using pretty much every day for the past several weeks and um, I really like it and I like the texture of it. I will also say I'm actually a Good Molecules affiliate so if you want to support my channel then you're welcome to use the link but of course not obliged to. Another thing that I've tried, this is a new brand to me, this is Stratia and I heard about this brand from Faceonomics on Instagram and I wanted to try them because I feel like the price point was pretty good and I was looking for a CC serum and this is the CC, C plus C serum it's a silky smooth vitamin C serum. I just like the feeling of this. You know, it's silicon based. So I use this at night. When I put it on my skin, I feel like, I'm not sure if this is normal, but I feel this a little bit of a tingling sensation. I know, I just feel like somehow it's working on my skin. So I've been enjoying this for the past month that I've been using it. I was also super surprised with the really super fast shipping from Stratia. This is a US brand and it got to me like within the week. So I was, I was really pleasantly surprised about that. I think shipping was maybe 15 US dollars, so not cheap. But if it comes to me within a week, I'm, I'm very happy. And then going on the kind of opposite, like luxe spectrum, I decided to pick this Gustus Beta, the rich cream. And I do like it, but I'm not sure whether or not I would buy it again. That's the thing. I think I paid maybe $165 for it or something like that. Even though I have been using it, 
I still find that when I sometimes put my makeup on, I still see dry patches. So I don't necessarily feel like this is the answer to all my problems. You know, I think that I will need a combination of things to fix that. But I don't feel like this went really above and beyond what I was expecting. I don't know. Tell me if you've used it before. Do you rate it? This brand is known for like the technology behind the, the formulations. So... Like I said, I'm not an expert. I just bought into it just to try it in the past. I have tried a whole bunch of Lux creams, like the Le Mer cream. I just, I sometimes I just don't see the um, hype behind some of those really Lux uh, creams. But, you know, if it works for you, that's great. Okay, let's move on to some clothing stuff. I did buy a couple of things I had been eyeing on for a while. And I have talked about um, this brand on my Instagram. This is where I post most of my like fashion clothing content and these are some silk dresses from silk laundry i really love slip dresses for layering i don't wear it like this i don't wear it on its own because i it's not a look that i like the, the difference between wearing this versus a skirt is that i don't get the tightness around my my waist i tend to go for things with elasticated waist just because I, like i said i don't like the feeling of something too tight around that area. So I really have been enjoying these slip dresses as a layering piece. I could just wear a t-shirt or a jumper or whatever I wanted over this. And Silk Laundry pretty much never do sales. However, they have stockers that do sales. So when I saw that some of the stockers were doing sales on this, I picked them up because I knew I'd been looking at these for ages. I wanted to add some more colors. And I think this, this kind of neon green is gorgeous. I think a black is very versatile and I have worn both of them already. Love it. So I was very, very happy to get them at a discounted price because I think full price they are $290. So they're not cheap, but silk feels great on the skin and um, just a really luxurious fabric to wear. Next, I got this um, Horovacui skirt from Netta Porter for a very big discount because Horovacui is a brand that I love, I, but I just love the detail on their items. Like, look at the pleating here. You know, it's just something that is different. And they don't use any zips or anything. They use, they just have ties, um, which might be annoying to some. But I think that it it's quite, I don't know, it, it is a bit of a nod to an old kind of fashioned style of skirt, which I like. And I, of course, the, the beautiful print, it's just stunning. I love that it has different variations of blue in here. Because when it comes to patterns, I feel like they're easy to color match with because then you can wear a top that is any color in here or even contrasting colors if you wanted. But uh, I like to wear this with other blues in my closet and I do love wearing blue. As you can tell, I love wearing blue. And if you wanted to know, I what size am I? I'm a medium in this skirt. I think this is a gorgeous skirt. Really, really underrated brand. Like I, I feel like it's a brand that not many people talk about or know about unless you're obsessed with fashion. <laughs> But yeah, like, you know, the, the thing that I love about Horovacui as a brand is that they do do really interesting and different designs. And she, the designer herself is really inspired by vintage clothing. Some of her designs were based on like 500 year old pajamas. So it's very different. And I, I like that she uses kind of a lot of hand sewing techniques for like the scalloping and things like that. I do have a few now of her pieces, which I've been slowly collecting. So love this skirt so much and it's just the perfect length for me too okay so those are the clothing things i have one bag which is this stored bag um i have got another bag from stored in the past and i do like them i would say they're mid-range uh bags they're at a price range where I, sh I can happily spend my money on because i'm not i don't feel like i'm a bag person like if i splurge it tends to be on like shoes i'm just not a huge bag person. I love the shape of it. That was what attracted me to this bag. It's called the mini moon bag. I believe they have a bigger size, but I like this because it's crossbody and I think the other ones don't have a crossbody strap. And as a mum, I often need hands free. And so I, I do love a crossbody. They're my favorite type of bag. Like I said, I think the shape is really nice. And because I have a lot of boho clothes in my wardrobe, I think this style seems to suit a lot of that kind of style of clothing. I guess the only thing about this bag that I would say is that it's not super secure because as you can see, you can see every single thing in here. You know, it's it could potentially all fall out at any point. <laughs> so you don't want to overfill this bag at all. Otherwise, that's going to happen. 
but I really I do have been enjoying this bag a lot I've been wearing it a lot and I, I really like it so I'm happy that I've got this I got this on Shopbop I'm not sure if they're still available if they are I will link it below yeah and I also will say I do love the contrast black, uh, white stitching too um, I do love like contrasting stitching on even like clothes as well I think that it just adds something extra to an otherwise quite plain bag I want to say this is a bag that I know that I'll have to be careful with because it's a matte it's like susceptible to scratching you know this kind of finish before I move into the random things I did also want to mention another pair of earrings that I got from Molly Coombs Ma again you might have seen some of um, her earrings feature on my Instagram but how cute is this design and also um, that they're removable so if you wanted to wear just the gold part you can if you wanted to wear just the red part of the waddle you can and I just think they're gorgeous I do love her earrings she's one of the brands that I always look for um, at her, when she releases like a new range because I think that she's she does such beautiful designs inspired by Australiana. They're quite playful and and kitschy. So they're definitely not for everyone and and they're not for me all the time. But I do feel like when I've got a fun, playful outfit that I'm wearing, um, I think a lot of her earrings complement really well. And like I said, I love her designs. I think she's an, a great um, jewelry designer. Uh, probably one of my favorites um, and she's one that I did discover at a design market I think last year so ever since then I've picked up actually a few of her earrings they don't irritate my ears and and they're really great quality so um, definitely check her out I think she's she's a great one to kind of support okay last thing I wanted to talk about and it's kind of a random thing but I picked up a whole bunch of stuff on suffrages I picked up these hay stacks and you might have seen like cafes and stuff use them um, but I like them. I, I think they're really great storage solutions that I feel look nice. So I've upgraded my storage. I've got different colors of these, but they're all around the house. So I'm not going to take them down. I just want to show you one. I really like these. I think the price is good as well. I think I got this for like 12 bucks. As you can see, it can, it can hold a lot. So this is what I use to store all my masks and my scarves and everything. There's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I have a headband in here. Why is that in there? I don't know. But this is in my drawer, in my closet, and I, I like these a lot. So that's pretty much the last thing I wanted to talk about. It might not be that exciting, but um, I already had a few of these at home. And when Selfridges did a 20% off sale, I knew I wanted to pick up more because um, we have a lot of things to store in the house. So. And so that's it. That's the haul. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully the footage turned out okay and the sound is okay. I'm net, Like I said, first time filming on phone, so it could be complete rubbish. And I don't know if you're gonna, this is going to see the light of day. Hopefully it does. But... Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, quick, frivolous haul, and um, I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.